Hey you guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's video I'm going to be showing you a super simple hair tutorial just on how I achieve these kind of big beachy waves. I think that's what you would call them. I do get quite a few compliments. I'm not trying to sound cocky. I'm not trying to sound like full of myself or anything. I'm just saying I get quite a few compliments and questions on how I style my hair. You know, people just want to know what I do, what I use. So that's what today's video is for. I'm going to be showing you the technique, the wand, and a couple products that I use in order to achieve these type of waves. Also, the wand that I'm using, it's the Lang Luster Wand, the 32 millimeter one. Actually, my first YouTube video I ever filmed and posted was on that wand. So I will actually link that video below. So go check that out too. That kind of gives you just a background on the wand itself. I'm not really going to go too in depth about the actual wand in this video. How many times can I say wand? <laughs> But again, I'm just going to kind of give you a breakdown of how I get these waves. But yeah, if you like this video, if it is helpful, please give it a thumbs up. That really does help me. And be sure to subscribe if you're not already. Hit the little notification bell so that you're notified every time I upload because I do upload new videos weekly and you don't want to miss out. And without further ado, let's just go ahead and get started. Okay, so first things first, I always go in with some heat protected spray. And I have been loving this Tresemme Thermal Creations Heat Tamer Leave-In Spray. You can just purchase just at Walmart, new drugstore, whatever. It's actually almost gone, so I'm probably gonna have to get some more here soon. It smells so good too. My hair is pretty dry, so a little bit damaged, so I like to um, keep it from getting even more damaged. So from the intro and the title of the video, you know that these are gonna be fairly quick, kind of bigger, loose, waves rather than really tight curls. Um, if you do want more tight curls, I can do a video on that as well. There, This is not really what I do for the most part. I like to do something quick, simple, something that get me out the door, you know, fairly quickly rather than spending like an hour on my hair because <laughs> I already do that when it comes to my makeup. So I'd rather get my hair just done. I forgot to let you know what I'm using. Before curling my hair, I use the Lang Luster um, it's the blush rose gold one, the 32 millimeter. It's like the bigger one. So if you do have like shorter hair or you're wanting to achieve this more tight curls, I would probably go with a 25 millimeter, but this is the one that I really like. And it's the titanium one. My first ever YouTube video is actually over this wand and my review and thoughts of it, as well as a tutorial of how I did my hair back then. Um, that's been a few months, so things kind of change. Honestly, I've found easier ways that I enjoy doing my hair, ways that I feel like it looks better and quicker. So yeah. So yeah, I will just kind of part my hair um, like half and half. Then I will kind of go in with kind of a chunk, honestly, about that big. And I will wrap it away from my face. Yeah, I would say like halfway up the hair. That's where I kind of start the curl. I don't ever really go up towards the root. And I'll just leave that there for about 15 seconds. I always have it like pointing down. And then that is what the curl will look like. Go around and do like the same size sections for all of my hair. And you can always, you know, curl more um, towards like your roots and stuff, but I just prefer not to. Like I already have a lot of volume, I guess you would say, um, since I have so much hair. So I like, I prefer to just start kind of in midway down my hair is where I like to start my curls. And I'll just keep going. And this is seriously what I do for my whole head. If I fast forward through this, it's because it's just very repetitive and the same thing over and over again. I don't want to bore you to death, so yeah. There's one side and that was literally probably less than like three minutes. So for opposite side, you put the hair going the opposite way away from your face. If you see that my hands are looking a little <laughs> orangey, it's because self tanner. I love the self tan by the way, it's a new one and I will probably be doing a review on it here soon as long as I continue to enjoy it the way that I have so far. If I ever am wanting more tight curls, 
then I will kind of go layer by layer as well as doing smaller pieces of hair but for these bigger looser waves more so I go you know bigger sections of hair I guess I would say and then I don't go layer by layer I just have it all down and then just start from there so. and they don't really have to be like the exact same um, size section like you can do some bigger if you want and some maybe a little bit smaller it's really totally your preference I try to get as close as possible to the same sizes, but sometimes it doesn't work. <laughs> I love this wand too, by the way. It is, it's the best. If you're looking for a wand, I just, I really highly recommend this. And this is not sponsored, by the way. This is totally just, I got this as a Christmas gift from my husband and I've not been able to put it down. It is just amazing. I really do feel like this type of wand just cuts the time pretty much in half of what my other wands were, um, how long it would take me to do my hair with my other curling wands. And a lot of the times I have half off sales. I know they were having like a summer sale or something like that where a lot of their wands were on sale for 30 to $40 and they're originally 160 or something. It really kind of varies wand by wand. Just if you're in the market for one, I would recommend this one. The curls are done and now I will just kind of let the curls sit for just a few moments, especially the ones I just did. They are still warm, so I want them to sit and kind of warm a little more, I guess you would say. I don't really know. But yeah, this is the wand. Like I said, I do have a review already on this wand. It was my first impressions along with a little hair tutorial of how I was curling my hair back then. And like I said, love this wand. Just a beautiful blush pink and rose gold. It does have a temperature setting like you can choose your temperature setting, which I think is awesome. It has a little like protected tip where you can hold it if you need to. So that's nice. A little swivel cord. Be sure to go check out that video as well. Like I said, that was my first YouTube video. I will link it in the description box below as well as link it right up here. So be sure after this video, you go check that out. So as we see, this is just kind of what we're at now. So you can see they're fairly large, bouncy kind of curls right now. So the products that I use after I curl really depends on the kind of, I guess, mood I'm in and what I want my hair, you know, to really look like. So if I want more textured ways, I use like a sea salt spray and they definitely add that just kind of beachy wave vibe, like a really textured, but sometimes I want them to be more soft and kind of flowy. Um, so for those days, I will use this uh, Garnier Fructis. Wonder Waves Wave Enhancing Spray and this is just a very flexible hold and it says it down there It's just pretty much for waves soft tussled waves and frizz control with fruit micro waxes Whatever that means. But yeah, I really love this So after you know, like I said after I let the curls kind of sit for a few I will go in and just kind of Roscoe, baby. It's okay. My little Roscoe is having a dream. If you don't know who Roscoe is, Roscoe is my dog. I did do a video filming with them. Um, I have two dogs with Roscoe and Ellie. I filmed with them as they picked my makeup. So be sure to go check that out. I will link the video up below. Up below. <laughs> I will link the video up here as well as in the description box below. Be sure to go check that out too. It's really cute. Yeah, I'll just go in and kind of spray that. It smells so good. These sea salt sprays, they definitely give it, like I said, a lot more texture. This is for more of like a waves, like relaxed and soft and, you know. So after you spray like a hairspray, um, wave spray, sea salt spray, whatever you spray in your hair after your curls, you can always go in if you want them to be more relaxed and you can comb through them with your fingers using like a oil, like a hair oil. So I have this one, this is the 
Marrakesh oil, argon and hemp oil therapy, hair styling elixir, any kind of like hair oil you can go through with your fingers and you know comb through them and it'll make them even more relaxed. So I will show you kind of what that does. And it makes, it adds a lot of shine to your hair too. Just get a little bit, I don't know if you can see that. Kind of rub it through like that. And then you just kind of comb through them. And it will just, oh, it makes it so soft. And it smells good too. I'm all about my hair smelling good, so. It helps control any frizz, you know, if you want to put a little bit on top. And uh, so, and you can kind of like separate them even. But yeah, this is kind of just really good everyday, everyday hair. And usually this will last me sometimes, depends on how crazy I sleep in the middle of the night. But it will um, usually, usually. It'll usually last me a couple days. Okay, you guys, so this is the finished look. I really hope you all like it. I hope this video was helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that little notification bell so you're notified every time I upload. I do upload new videos weekly. And yeah, again, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Thank you so, so much for watching. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye. My little watchdog over there, my little guard dog. It's literally, that's him every day when I'm in my office. Hey, yo, Roscoe. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> oh. No more coffee.